What's going on everybody? This is Andy here with Ultima Eye Device Vids. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 10 free Cydia tweaks compatible with iOS 9. Let's get right into it. All right, so first up we have Zeppelin. This is a very famous Cydia tweak. It's available for free and basically it allows you to change your carrier logo or the text that says iPod or iPad, you know, depending on your device. For me on an iPhone, of course, it's the carrier. And as you can see, I replaced it with an Apple logo. You can go up to settings on your device after you install this and just scroll down uh, to the settings panel Zeppelin. And here you could choose theme. You have all these themes to choose from. As you can see, there's Nike. Iron Man, there's just tons of things you could choose from cloud. There's just lots of, lots of cool ones. There's even Windows. I'm sure Apple loves this. But again, anyways, it's just one of those really cool tweaks that lets you change up your device. You could also use carrier text as well. Uh, I'm just going to put in uh, Andy, and then we're going to save that. And if I disable this toggle, as you can see, it's going to use text as well. So again, this is just a fun tweak to change up your carrier. And next we have Status HUD2. This basically is gonna replace that annoying volume HUD pop up in the middle of your screen with these nice subtle uh, little dots up at the top of the screen. So this is nice if you're watching a video or doing something that you don't wanna be interrupted. This is just a very subtle way to see that volume being adjusted. Next we have Speed Intensifier. This is gonna speed up the animations on your device. As you can see here, when I'm opening and closing applications, going into the app switcher, everything's just lightning quick. And as you can see also, when I open up preference panels just like this and go back, everything's just quick. So if you go to settings and open up uh, speed intensifier, of course, you can enable or disable a tweak. And there's various options to configure for this tweak in here. Just make sure that you have enabled on and make sure you have spring animations on and everything will work perfectly fine. Just a really good tweak to speed up your device. And next up, we have Blur. And as you can see here, basically all this is going to do is it's going to change your uh, white keyboard into this nice dark one. And, you know, it's easier on the eyes, and I just like it a little bit more. just gives it that nice little dark tint. And if you go into settings, there is a preferences panel. Just make sure you have this enabled. And that's pretty much all there is to this tweak. Next up, we have App Color Close. Basically, what this is going to do is it's going to basically change the little X color on your home screen when your device is in wiggle mode uh, for deletable applications to the color of the application itself. So as you can see here, for Twitter, I have a blue. X. For YouTube, I have a reddish white X. For Facebook, I have a blue X, etc. So again, it's just going to basically match those X's up to the icon color. In the settings application, you could go into app color, close the settings panel, and there's a tint alpha slider, but that's pretty much all you know for this tweak. All right, and next up, we have swipe selection. This is a very famous tweak. This is one of my favorites. Basically, what it allows you to do is, as opposed to using this stupid magnifying glass like this to go you know forward and backward in text and you know move your cursor, you could just swipe on the keyboard like this, and as you can see, it just glide smoothly in between and you can it's very concise and you, know, you could go to the exact area that you want to go to just by swiping there's also there's also a feature that allows you to swipe uh, starting on the back key or the shift key and as you can see it's going to highlight text just like this so this is an awesome tweak as you can see here it's just so concise and it's just so sensical i love it and just a side note apple somewhat stole this in the iphone 6s which is actually what i'm using right now basically if you push in on your keyboard using the 3d touch and swipe like this as you can see uh, it's kind of similar how this works. You could just swipe like this and it's going to move the cursor wherever you want. It's not the exact same feel, but it's kind of similar. Uh, but again, uh, swipe selection is much better. The tweak is much better implemented than Apple's version. And next up, we have transparent dock. As you can see here, down below in my dock area, there's no blur. It's clear as day. You can see the wallpaper right behind there. And again, that's because of transparent dock. It just completely removes that blur effect. It's a very clean look. And there's no settings to configure. It just works. And next up, we have no percent sign. Basically, what this is going to do is it's going to remove the little percent sign with the battery percentage. And it's also going to remove the battery icon. So this is just to clean up your status bar. As you can see, it's just saying 50 as opposed to 50% and then showing the icon. It just says 50 if you go into settings on your device, you could open up no percent sign. And of course, you can enable or disable a tweak. And also, if you do want the uh, battery icon to be there, you could go ahead and enable show up battery icon. However, you will need to respring or reboot. Then again, it's just going to say 50 and then the icon. But I just like it the way it is because it's super minimal. And next up, we have round dock. As you can see here down at the bottom, the dock is rounded. The blurred area is rounded. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory and it just, you know, makes for a nice little look. Kind of resembles OS X a little bit more. And lastly, of course, we have iFile. This is that famous tweak that allows you to basically browse your entire device's file system just like you're able to do on a computer right on your device. Now, obviously, be careful in here. Uh, this is all the internals, all the guts of your device. 
device. So do not delete anything in here unless you're completely positive you know what it is. This is, again, the root file system of your device right here. And this could be useful for, you know, just browsing, exploring around. And also, you know, you could install .deb files using this, you know, individual Cydia tweaks. So it's just a really useful tool. You know, iFile is compatible with iOS 9. And that pretty much wraps up this video. If you did find it helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos on jailbreak tweaks, you know, this iOS 9 jailbreak that we just got and anything else iDevice related, jailbreak related. Again, I'll be covering all that here on my channel. Also make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. All those links will be down below in the description. And also, by the way, all the tweak names and developers will be down below in the description as well. Thanks for watching. Peace out.